How Fat Man, the world's biggest nuclear bomb, lethally exploded Nagasaki. History is clear that on the 6th day of August 1945, during World War II, the United States of America dropped the world's first deployed atomic bomb on Hiroshima, Japan. The atomic bomb known as Little Boy immediately killed 70,000 people or 27% of Hiroshima's total population which was 255,260. 60. Approximately 140,000 people or 55% of the total population were dead by year's end due to radiation exposure. Three days later, a second B-29 dropped another atomic bomb named Fat Man on Nagasaki, which killed an estimate of 40,000 people or 20% of Nagasaki's population right after the explosion. Everything and everyone within a mile of ground zero was annihilated. 14,000 homes burst into flames. People vaporized. People just outside the radius received horrific burns and later on experienced radiation poisoning. Aside from these casualties, 30,000 more people were dead by the beginning of 1946. Five years later, over 100,000 deaths were attributable to the bombing of Nagasaki. Fat Man also destroyed the innermost portion of Nagasaki. On August 15, days after the two consecutive bombings, Japan's Emperor Hirohito announced Japan's unconditional surrender in World War II, citing the devastating power of a new and most cruel bomb. To date, Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombing remains one of the horrific events the world has to remember. Join us in this video as we explore the fat man and how it was able to exterminate all the living in Nagasaki, Japan. Comparing the two atomic bombs deployed in the two cities of Japan, Fat Man was believed to be more efficient than Little Boy. The Hiroshima bomb Little Boy consisted of 64 kilograms of enriched uranium to produce a 15 kiloton blast, while the Nagasaki bomb Fat Man consisted of only 6.4 kilograms of plutonium to produce a 21 kiloton of the blast. Fat Man was also built by the scientists and engineers led by Robert Oppenheimer. The father of the atomic bomb and the Los Alamos laboratory at the Manhattan Project. The bomb was 128 inches long and 60 inches in diameter, weighing approximately of 10,300 pounds. Fat Man was powered by a plutonium sphere that weighs only 6.4 kilograms. This is responsible for the tremendous explosion since plutonium is a radioactive metallic element. Fat Man was the second plutonium implosion type bomb after the gadget that was detonated at the Trinity site on July 16, 1945. According to Atomic Heritage Foundation, a core of subcritical plutonium in the implosion type device is surrounded by several thousand pounds of high explosives or HE, designed in such a way that the explosive force of the HE is directed inwards, thereby crushing the plutonium core into a supercritical state. Since the plutonium sphere is surrounded by explosives, it is a highly specialized shape charge composed of 60 of RDX and 40 of TNT. The bomb is equipped with 32 bridge wire detonators that fit around the explosive lenses. 24 volt batteries are mounted on one side of the bomb which is connected to the fusing system. Fat Man was said to be rushed to deploy it days after Hiroshima. The target committee appointed by President Harry Truman did not primarily place Nagasaki among their top two choices as to where they will deploy the bomb. They primarily identified Kokura as the second target after Hiroshima. Kokura is a city of 130,000 people on the island of Kyushu. This is where the Japanese operated one of their biggest ordnance factories manufacturing among other things chemical weapons. These features of the Kokura made it a good option after Hiroshima. On the early morning of August 9, 1945, B-29 Super Fortress took off from Tinian Island carrying the fat man. Kokura clouds and smoke from nearby bombing rains obscured visibility. The bombing team could see the part of the city but they could not sight the city arsenal. Since the sighting would be impossible, the Americans headed to the next target, Nagasaki. Nagasaki was a port city located approximately 100 miles from Kokura with an approximate population of 263,000 people. Fat Man was dropped over the city of Nagasaki at an altitude of about 7 
17,047 seconds later, the Fat Man reached an altitude of about 1,600 feet. The Archie radar antenna emitting and reflecting the signal to the ground are used to detect the detonation altitude. The radar altimeters were used to reliably detect the final altitude. When the altimeter sends the correct height, 32 exploding bridge wire detonators simultaneously released electrical sparks. Due to this electrical spark, all of the explosives would go off simultaneously. The thick layer of the metal casing helps to create an implosion shockwave. Inside the casing, the medium density aluminum pusher transfers the imploding shockwave. The shockwave then compresses the inner components passing through a boron plastic shell, then the shockwave transfers to a natural uranium tamper and the sphere of plutonium would be compressed in the middle of plutonium. Due to the compression of two elements present in the atomic bomb called polonium and beryllium, the two metals mix and thereby released a burst of neutrons. Approximately 10 milliseconds later, the nuclear chain reaction occurred. One atom of plutonium is hit by a neutron which splits into two releasing energy and it produces two neutrons. Each of the neutrons go on to react or split other atoms of plutonium. The fat man exploded at an altitude of about 1,600 feet. The bomb detonated with the same force of 21 kilotons of TNT, forming a mushroom cloud about 60,000 feet tall. The damage came from three main effects, blast, fire, and radiation. The blast from a nuclear bomb is the result of an X-ray heated air called a fireball. A fireball was an extremely hot and highly luminous spherical mass of air and gases that sent a shockwave in all directions. Initially at a velocity greater than the speed of sound, the firestorm affected the area was roughly 3.2 kilometers from the epicenter. As a result of the explosion, radiation was released into the air. These ionizing radiations include alpha, beta, and gamma. The alpha radiation does not do much harm since these particles of ionizing radiation can be blocked by wearing well-protected clothing. Beta radiation is a little more serious and is capable of penetrating the skin and can cause radiation damage such as skin burns. Gamma radiation is the most dangerous of the three since it has so much penetrating power. Gamma rays can pass completely through the human body and can result and long-term health effects such as cancer, cardiovascular diseases, and gene mutation. With all these chemical compositions that made up the fat man, there is no doubt no one survived the explosion in Nagasaki. Year after the explosion, its radiation has lethally killed all the living, miles away from the center of explosion. While it exterminated all the hope of the Japanese people for sovereignty during World War II, its horrific effect has lived among the Japanese heritage and the history of the world itself. With the advances in technology and science, could there be more lethal to what the fat man was able to do in Nagasaki? Given the capabilities of military forces and its tactics, we do not hope for another Nagasaki incident. And as for humanity, can this genocide and lethal extermination of life suffice the need to win war against one another? Tell us in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you next time.